Hi, I'm Rob Puri, the Flow Pro designer on some man. Today, I'm going to show you how to add the R values for your project when using Flow Pro Designer. Now we can do one wall at a time or all the walls. Let me show you how to do one wall at a time. So if I left click on the wall, again we see the green dots, so I'm working with that wall. Now I double left click on the wall. And that brings up the project property sheet just for that wall. Then I go down here to this drop down menu, left click. And this gives me a selection of different wall types. And every time I change one of these walls, I'll get a new R value. So let's pick this wall right here. Click and release. Push OK. And you can see that we had a slight change in our heating and cooling load. And we have a new R value in the wall. Now to change all the walls, we drag the cursor over all the walls. Or if you only have one project and you don't have an upper floor and lower floor, you, you can hit Control A. That lights up everything in the project. Then you double left click on anything, a window or a door. And that brings up the select type box. And you can see how everything's grouped in these different categories. So we find exterior walls, double left click. And now when we make any changes or select a wall type, it'll change all of the walls. Or if your type is not in this selection and you enter your own R value, hit OK and it changes all the walls. So let's change a window R value. Select the window, the green dots, that's the one we're working on. Double left click on the window. Hit the drop down menu here. We have four different window types. Let's select single glass, regular. There's the new R value, 0.96, and when we push OK, this window now has a new R value. And same with the door. Select left click on the door, double left click, brings up the project property box for that door. Click the drop down menu here, select the door, let's select steel door. New R value, click OK. So that's how you change the R values in the walls, the windows, and in the doors. That's it for now. Remember, you can get Flow Pro Designer help on the Flow Pro Designer support page, which is at the Taiko Flow Pro website. You'll find a series of these short how to videos plus tips, tricks, and keyboard shortcuts. You can email or call me anytime, even on the weekends. Thanks for watching. See you soon.